<laughs> Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Happy Sabbath. Yes, Saturday is the Sabbath. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is good. Um, just pretty much wanted to get on here and let you all know that the body of Christ has many problems. We all know that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Half lukewarm, the other half entertainment spirit and people have learned how to master and flow in the flesh but I want to talk to you right now about having a sure foundation oh my god that is the most important thing I don't care how many degrees you have I don't care if you are a bishop an apostle evangelist teacher minister whoever you are if you don't have a sure foundation in Jesus Christ you will blow this way, you will blow that way, and not only that, you will not be able to stand through that spiritual warfare that I promise you are sure to come if you're truly called as a servant of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm serious. So many people are being defeated mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. And that's because you don't have a sure foundation. Let me tell you how you get that sure foundation. This thing is about you and God in the end. God, a relationship. This is not about just going to church, looking good, speaking good. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, or even being good. I said last night, you want to know where a person is? Apply pressure. Because that's what the enemy does. But sometimes God allows it. Come on, somebody. Ain't no sometimes. Nothing can happen without the permission from God. So you have to ask yourself, why is God allowing this to happen to me right now? It's because you're being tested. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God, everything in the Bible was for an example on what will happen to us and how we are to react. When God told Abraham, take your son as a sacrifice. Now, God already knew that he wasn't going to really do it because he knew that he had the angel in position and the ram in the bush. But there are times in your life that God will allow something to happen because it's not that he don't know who you are. He wants you to know who, who, who you are. Meaning that you need to know your strengths, your weaknesses. And to make choices, better choices in life. Come on somebody, hallelujah. You know, sometimes we play the blame game. I blame this one, I blame the past, I blame, alright, alright. And, and, and guess what, they very well may have done anything and everything that you said. But the whole point is, at the end of the day, when everybody is gone. At the end of the day, when it's 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Because that's, that's when that warfare really hit. Because that's when them demons chant, do their spiritual witchcraft, all kind of stuff. Come on, somebody. You'll start getting a lonely spirit. You'll start getting a crying spirit. you start getting, come on, somebody. That's when them spirits hit your mind. And, and, and if you are not rooted and grounded in God, oh, my God, oh, my God, you'll start acting. You'll start doing You'll start saying things that you know is not of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's because you don't have a sure foundation. That's what's wrong. It's not that you don't love God. You love God with all your heart. But guess what? You were never grounded. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And, and, and how do you get grounded for real? When you get tired of sick, being sick and tired, tired playing, being real with thyself. You see, let me tell you something what I learned out. Oh, boy, this was deep. You think you're hiding? Mm hmm. You think people don't know who you are? Mm. The spirit will tell your business through Facebook, honey. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why I be laughing at people that's trying to front. Because if somebody is wisdom, have wisdom and discernment, honey, you can't fool poo, You can't fool nobody. You're just fooling yourself. So that's why God allowed tests and trials because what he's trying to get you to do is have a sure foundation. Understand that without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you are nothing. Without me, you, you, can, you have nothing. And that's when... I, when I got, I'm, I'm going to use myself as I do transparently. When it stopped being about people, trying to please this one, please that one, the pastor, the preacher, the teacher. You don't hear what I'm saying. Let's just be honest. Or even friends or family. When God allowed me to be in a, situ a situation to where so much stuff was going on, I had to realize, wait a minute, at the end of the day, I ain't got nobody but God. Oh, well, I better get real with this thing. So I started getting in that Bible. I started, look, I'm talking about, I got off that phone. I started going, see this one, that one. I got close to God. I said, God, show me how, show, show me how to worship you. Show, show me how to, how to serve you. Show, show me how to want you. Come on, somebody. Show me how to flow in you. Show me how to pray to 
you. Show me how to stay with you. Keep me safe, God. Because guess what? That preacher can't do it. That teacher can't do it. That minister can't do it. The Bible can't do it. Baby, there's only one thing, and that's the Spirit of God. He said, I'll draw you in. But when you seek me with your whole heart. So you want to know why you're not having a sure foundation? Your heart ain't right. Mm. There it is. There it go. What's in your heart, man of God? What's in your heart, woman of God? That's why you go here, there. There's no there's no foundation. And then you want to blame this, that. Don't no, 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 blame nobody. Look in the mirror. Come on, somebody. This is the time where you look at the woman or the man in the mirror. Because sometimes, truth be told, you your biggest enemy. Mm, ain't nobody want to talk about that because we so used to blaming mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin. It happened, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you're, the, you're your biggest enemy. And you want to know why? Because you refuse to see truth. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Having a firm, a strong foundation in God means being real with yourself. Taking constructive criticism, changing some things. As a matter of fact, God says, He says, examine thyself. So I don't have to. Come on, somebody, I don't have to rebuke you, correct you, chastise you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This thing is real. This thing is it's never been about people. Although you make it about people. It's never been about this one or what happened or what didn't happen in your life. It's about what decisions are you making now? What are you doing? And I'm going I'm to tell you something powerful. Because the man or the woman of God, I mean, the Bible is taught so many places right now. I'm talking about even through social media right now, you can reach people, right? So what is really going on with the body of Christ? I'm going to tell you what's going on. Because you got all the information. You got internet. You got all this. You got people preaching, teaching. Application. People are not applying it. You have it all right there. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God is putting it all in your face as well. But if you don't apply it, <laughs> then it's null and void. That's what's going on. No application. <laughs> you won't stand. You have to apply it. And in every area of your life. So I pray that you understand that without a strong foundation in God, you don't have a foundation. So I'm going to leave you with this. What is your foundation? Are you truly grounded in the Lord? Or do you have a hidden agenda? Or have you always had a hidden agenda? Because I'm going to be real with you. we got people, apostles, prophets, ministers. They love God. But they love what they do more, what they want more. So if that's the case, you might as well just go ahead and do it and quit playing. Yeah, I said just go ahead and do it and quit playing. And when you get it out your system, come back and say, God, I'm ready. Because until then... You ain't blame nobody but yourself. Application changes the situation. What is your foundation on? So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm going to try to do a live in the house. Pray for me on that one. <laughs> Those people are crazy. I love you guys. And um, roll out soldiers. God bless you.